Hi, welcome to Doctor Talks. I'm Dr. Alvaro, one of your top 37 favorite retired mountain biking heart doctors on earth. Today, we're going to talk about the most common cause of passing out, called vasovagal syncope. Vasovagal describes the mechanism, and the word syncope just means to pass out. Vasovagal syncope is also known as a vasovagal spell or attack because you don't always pass out with it. Vasovagal syncope is also known as neurally mediated syncope or neurocardiogenic syncope. Big long words, and I know too many names, but they all refer to the same thing, which is passing out due to a temporary glitch in the internal feedback mechanism between your heart and your brain and the arteries in your body. Have you ever heard of somebody passing out when they get stuck by a needle? Why would getting stuck by a needle make anybody pass out? What is the actual mechanism? It's a vasovagal event. The pain and the anxiety trigger the vasovagal reaction. So exactly what is happening during a vasovagal reaction? Well, it turns out your body has very complex feedback mechanisms which auto-regulate your heart rate and your blood pressure based on what you're doing and what position you're in and whether or not you're sick or emotional or exercising or asleep or what have you. And sometimes these mechanisms go a little haywire and the wrong signal is sent at the wrong time. And this is exactly what a vasovagal spell is. It's your brain telling your heart to slow down and your arteries to relax at a time when these things aren't necessary and often actually the opposite of what you might need for a given situation. Also, along with these inappropriate signals, other signals are sent which can make you feel very nauseated and very sweaty and hot and clammy. So what happens when your heart rate gets low or your, or your arteries relax so that your blood pressure drops? Not enough blood gets to your brain, which in turn makes you feel lightheaded and dizzy and potentially even pass out. It also causes changes in your vision, such as tunnel vision, like you're seeing through a cave, as well as changes in your hearing, where, where everything sounds really far away and kind of tinny. And it typically takes a minimum of 10 to 20 minutes to recover from one of these spells. It can even take up to an hour or longer before you feel your normal self again. It is important to note that vasobagal spells are always let me say it again, always preceded by some combination of these symptoms, nausea, sweatiness, changes in vision, changes in hearing, lightheadedness. If you had none of these, then it wasn't a vasovagal spell that caused you to pass out. Now, while these spells feel awful, I know it's happened to me once, while they feel awful and patients often feel like they must be dying or something terrible has to be wrong for this to have happened, as it turns out, these spells typically don't mean anything bad is going on at all. In fact, at least one out of every four people on Earth, one out of four, that's a lot of people, will experience a vasovagal reaction by the time they hit age 40, whether they completely pass out or not. Now, while these spells can happen for no reason at all, they're typically triggered by something. And the most common triggers are pain, like the needle stick, or fright or anxiety, all of which often go hand in hand. You should also know that you are more predisposed to these triggers if you also happen to be dehydrated or if you've skipped a meal or two and your blood sugar is on the low side. If you have passed out or you know someone who has passed out, it is super important to go see a doctor. But if your symptoms sound like those that I just described, don't be surprised if after a long conversation and an exam and a few tests, your doctor tells you everything is A-OK. -okay. I hope you learned something today about vasovagal spells. I want you to have a great day and eat healthy and mountain bike if you got the guts and smash the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. Leave questions in the comments section or any future topics you'd like to hear about and stay tuned for my next topic where I will discuss one of the most common causes of passing out in people over the age of 50. 
All right, you guys. Thanks for listening. Bye, everybody. I will see you later.